Hello, good day everyone. Today in this video, we're going to talk about the chain rule for differentiation. So first of all, we let um, y equals to fgx, where the gx is can be written as a u, and uh, after uh, after that, the y can be written as a fu. So if you have this kind of function, you can actually differentiate the uh, find the dy dx or find the f prime x. Uh, which is uh, taking the differentiate the f function and the inside function means a u function we keep it uh, the same inside and then multiply by uh, differentiate the g function in terms of x or you can write in the form of dy dx equals to dy du means that you are differentiating the y with respect to u and then multiply by Differentiate the u with respect to x, which is a find uh, differentiate the g g x, which which is uh, the same as uh, you finding uh, g prime x. Okay, so let's see one example. If we have a function of y equals to x plus four power of three, we want to differentiate it. Use the concept uh, above. We find the dy dx. Okay. So we uh, consider this uh, as a u function, <coughs> u equals to x plus 4. So first of all, I will just uh, differentiate the outer function first, which is uh, I move the 3 to the front. And then the inside function, we keep it the same. Alright, so if you differentiate the power of 3, you are going to take the 3 minus 1. Uh, basic rule of differentiation, which is uh, you will have 2 now. 3 minus 1, you got 2. And then now, you are going to differentiate the inside function, which is uh, x plus 4 with respect to x. Differentiate x plus 4 with respect to x, you got 1. Alright, so now after that, you need to simplify it. You get a 3 multiplied by x plus 4 power 2. This is your answer after you have simplified. Look at the next example. If you have of this function, let's, first of all, I will just uh, take this as my function u. And the outer function is the u power of 4. So now dy dx is equals to differentiate the outer function. Just keep it the u, uh, the inside function, uh, the same thing. We're not going to change it. And how do you differentiate u power of 4? Actually, you are taking the 4, move the 4 to the front. And then the power u minus 1, you get a power of 3. And then after you have differentiated the outer function, you're going to differentiate the u function, all right? U with respect to uh to x. Differentiate the uh, this uh, inside function with respect to x, all right? So differentiate the two x power of four, you will get eight x cube, and uh, differentiate the negative nine x, you get negative nine. Of course, differentiate the constant, you get zero. So that is our answer, and uh, now we just uh, need to rearrange it so it looks nice. I will take this eh. Uh, uh, I will rearrange them in this form and uh, we check again is there any any chance to uh, simplify further if can you need to simplify it if uh, this I think this is the final answer and now let's move to the next example which is a more complicated function all right so now we have a gx equals to uh, square root of uh, x over 1 minus x you can also think that or you can also uh, write this in the form of x over 1 minus x power of 1 over 2. So first of all, maybe we will take this as our function of u. u equals to gx and then uh, the whole function is uh, f gx. So first of all, to get the g prime x, all right, we differentiate the outer function first. Just keep it as, this, uh, as the same function, x over 1 minus x. How do you differentiate the 1 over 2? You're going to move the 1 over 2 to the front. And then the 1 over 2, you're going to minus 1. You get negative 1 over 2. So inside function, you keep it the same. Inside the bracket, x over 1 minus x. Just like copy it down. And after you have done it, you're going to uh, differentiate the inside function, which is x over 1 minus x. And we can see that x over 1 minus x is a quotient form. So probably we can uh, consider to use the quotient rule. How do, how do you do use, uh, apply the quotient rule? We are going to take this as my u function. This is my v. If according to the formula of uh, differentiating the uh, u over v, 
All right, just uh, have some uh, brief revision. You're going to copy down the V first, and then you differentiate the U. And uh, minus, you copy down the U, differentiate the V over the V squared. This is the quotient rule. So now I'm going to apply this quotient rule to differentiate the inside function. I put a bracket here so that you can see clearly how do I apply the quotient rule. So uh, first of all, I'll take this as my V, this as my U. So uh, copy down the V first, you get a 1 minus X. That is a V. And then uh, your differentiate U with respect to X. Differentiate the X with respect to X, you got 1. Alright, and then the formula given is a minus. Minus, copy the U. Copy the U means that copy the X in this, uh, in this case. And then after that, you're going to differentiate the U, uh, sorry, differentiate the V, which is a V prime. So differentiate the V with respect to X, okay, you will get negative 1 over V squared. V squared means uh, you have a 1 minus X squared. Alright, so now you have done the differentiation. So now I is, uh, we need to uh, differentiate or we need to simplify it. Okay, so how do we, how are we going to simplify it? I'm going to uh, write this as a, uh, okay, uh, simplify the bracket first. You get a 1 over 2, x over 1 minus x power of negative 1 over 2. I'm going to simplify the uh, bracket, uh, what is inside this bracket, alright. So you get a 1 minus x plus x, alright. 1 minus x multiplied by 1, you get 1 minus x. And then negative, multiply by negative, you got plus plus positive, positive x over 1 minus x squared. Okay, after that, we're going to, uh, okay, this is the power of negative 1 over 2, so I'm going to find the reciprocal, or we just find it, just uh, inverse it. Power of 1 over 2, so there is no more negative uh, at the power, uh, power there. So this 1 minus x plus x can be simplified to 1 over 1 minus x squared. Okay, so see what we can do now. We have a 1 over 2 square root of 1 minus x, okay, over square root of x multiplied by 1 minus x squared. So we can see that actually this is a... 1 minus x power of 1 over 2, and this is 1 minus x power of 2. So there is a chance to simplify this uh, 1 minus x because uh, when you have the base, uh, they are the same and the power can be minus. Alright, so I will just keep the uh, square root of x together with the 2 first. And then uh, we have a 1 minus x power of 1 over 2 on top, and then minus the 2. Alright, because uh, they are having the same base, and the power can be deducted. Okay, so after that, further simplify, 1 over 2 minus 2, you got negative 3 over 2. Okay, so uh, simplify, rewrite it, we'll get 1 over 2, square root of x. Okay, and uh, this uh, over 2 means that square root, and uh, you have a 1 minus x. Alright, power of 3. Okay, so um, you can write this, okay, so this is, you can just leave your answer as this form.